Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts. Well, I've had a lot of questions lately asking me what I do with all this ephemera that I make. I mean, I make these videos, I tend to do one or two a week, and I've made between three and five different pieces. And yeah, at the moment, they're all getting stashed in little baskets like this. Yeah, and I've got one such basket here. I have filled one junk journal with all these bits, and I'm going to be filling another one here today with you. If you've watched recently, you may have seen me make my Tim Holtz style junk journals. Just put those to one side. Here are the covers. I've just pieced together Tim Holtz scraps onto envelopes. I will link to all the videos where I've made these if you want to look at them. We've got a policy envelope there, a large acetate pocket there. And the signature for this one, so far, I think... Yeah, that's going to go in it, I think, yeah. I don't think I've actually put anything else in. Oh, I did one pocket there. Uh, I, I saw a video by Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure and it was a pocket made from a ticket. And I thought, oh, that looks good. So I quickly grabbed a scrap of paper and a smaller ticket. She made the pocket from one big ticket. And I've got two little pockets there, so I liked that. Uh, other thing I've done is I've just sewn a little bit of, yeah, linen there with a little bee stamped on. I've just sewn it just there. So I've done all the sewing I want to do in this. I've got a page there with some pockets. Again, I had a video showing how I made these. These will all be linked in my description under video. I'll quickly show you the one that I've already decorated. I may add a few more bits. I may, well, I've got one thing in the centre to finish. I may not. So it's just tied with some of this twill uh, yeah, twill binding tape, whatever it's called. Right, we open it up. We've got the large pocket there for you to put all your bits and bobs in while you're decorating the journal. I do make my journals. They're not full to bust in, so you can do plenty more work in them yourself. I've got a tag there. I don't know whether that's going to stay there. It was just the longest tag I had that would fit in that pocket. I don't think I made these on video. They're just very simple. bit of embossed writing i've stamped it on embossed it and then i've used the tim holtz distress glaze on a tim holtz die cut very simple tag it didn't need a video that one we've got uh, tim holtz paper there i've just popped a tiny little piece of ephemera there and popped another piece in some tea dyed paper we've got a butterfly page that's a yeah, plain card. I've just put some, again, it's Tim Holtz collage paper. This one had not stuck right up to the edge, so I peeled off what was loose and then I just distressed it up a little bit more and inked it. I quite liked it. That's all that needed. And just took it up under that tab. Dictionary page, some more. Oh, there. That's just a tiny little pocket I made with a scrap and I've popped this tag in. It's got, again, another playing card in. That's not altered. That just pops in there. A little bit of interest. That's a digital page. I think that's Artie Mays. We've got a piece of vintage ledger page there. That is actual vintage ledger. It's not uh, a digital uh, yeah, pocket with a tag. That butterfly. Again, I think that's a Tim Holtz. Uh, I've st I'll tell you as well, I've stuck this on with the Barely Arts glue to see how it stands up. You can't really see it through on the other side that much. It hasn't wrinkled the paper. You can, ju you can just see a slight difference in colour. So I may put something else on that page to cover it. I don't know. Got a pocket page there. I've just cut down one of the backdrop pieces and just pop that in there. That can be altered do a lot more to that you could even cut it up and use it elsewhere you might want to put something else in that uh, a vintage french english dictionary some handmade paper vintage book page that's quite an old logarithms book i think that were bordering on antique I'm saying bordering on antique. No, I'm exaggerating there. I think it was from the 50s. Yeah, it's a fair bit older than me. <laughs> uh, another page there. I've just folded a label over. So we've got part of it there, part of it there. 
and then I've just popped a few little bits of ephemera in some Tim Holtz. Don't know where that's from. That's just a piece from a paper pad. That's some more music paper. Right, the centre spread is what I haven't finished making on this. As you can see, I've got the bits that I'm going to use for it. I've tied that off in the middle. I've not done anything with it yet because I don't know if I'm going to have it dangling, tie a bow, snip it off. So for now, it's just there. But I know I want to put that on there somehow so that you can see that poking out when this is closed. If I show you the one I did on camera for the first journal. Yeah, flips there. We've got a tag there. It opens up. We've got lots of bits and bobs, pockets, little interesting things you can pull out and play with. Yep. So I'm going to do something similar, just in different papers. I've started it just so I could get it sewn in, but I haven't finished it. So they can stay there. Now the back, same papers, just popped another. I wasn't sure about that orange, but I think I'm going to leave it. Oh, that's a little flip up journal spot. I've got one of those, the tuck spot there. Yeah, that's the other side of the ledger paper, another tab on it, the other side of that. So there's lots of scope to do more in this journal. Bearing in mind it's quite a chunky monkey. A pocket there, I just thought that looked nice because I'll go into town with eyelets on this, I've put three more in. And yeah, this is the back page, I've popped that in there. Get yeah, that was a junk mail envelope that was covered in book pages. I just made a little yeah pocket out of it. There is a card inside that tucks in there. Then we've got a pocket there, and I've just popped that is a digital vintage receipt in there. Then we've got the back with the acetate pocket. So that's the first one. All gussied up shall we say I've just got that centre section to finish and what I want to do today is go through decorating the other one with you so here we go <clears throat> we'll just pop it in just to just to see do we need anything else on that front pit I don't think we do I like to leave these yummy Tim Holtz papers without much else done to them when I use them as a page I do want something here though Right, I've got that butterfly book page there, I've got the little bee. I don't know if I want to put a butterfly corner tuck, because I do have another one of those. This one's slightly different. Ooh, let's put a bit of ink on that while we're at it. That one fastens with a Velcro dot. Sometimes I fasten with Velcro dots, sometimes I don't. I think the bigger ones tend to want to stay closed better. These smaller ones, I do like the little velcro dot just to make sure they're not going to be flip flapping up. So I don't want that there. But I think I may want this here. I do like that. I think that would make a nice little pocket. I like how the red goes with the butterfly, but this butterfly is now uh, black. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's take the inside out of the cover and I'm going to get my glue and stick it on. Right, I've got myself all tidied up, everything's where it should be. Can I find my glue? Can I find my glue? I was going to use barely arts but I'm going to use <laughs> art glitter, art glitter glue decanted into a small bottle because I have no idea what I've done with my barely arts glue because that's the kind of woman I am. When I tidy up I can find nothing. I did find that bottle of glue under my desk though and it seems to have dried up. So let's use one of the other two I've got. I always like to have two in case I lose one and I lost one for a long time so I filled another bottle. So then I had three, that's better. I think I just need to poke the all on that. I don't worry so much about this wrinkling the paper. Heart glitter is very good at not wrinkling. It sticks very immediately. It's my favourite glue and I'm just going to pop that there. I'm not going to put it right in the corner, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. There we go. 
and I'm going to decorate any little things like this I'm going to stick in as I go through if I've got any big things to put in like this that I've put in further back I think I'll put that in after I've bound the signature ring because I don't want it flip flopping about too much so I'll just put that to one side but that that looks good right so what else we got I think it's looking good that could do with something in the pocket let's look what we got out um, I'm not sure that might be a bit wide a bit too near spine that I might not have anything suitable in this little handful I may have to go delving is that one a bit smaller oh that's slightly smaller I'm gonna pop that one in because these are the ones I definitely want to get in perhaps not that it might be a little bit thick we'll pop that one away pop it away so you can stay there mate Right, you probably will fall out when I bind the signature, but we'll sort you out in a minute. I'm not going to put anything on that because I like it too much, that vintage ledger. Right, this, this came in a job lot that I bought from Germany. I'm assuming it's German, I have no idea. They may not have got it from Germany. Where's it from? That's not German, is it? I've no idea. Someone's going to be looking. Someone can read that and they can tell me. I just really don't know. We don't know, do we, Deirdre? We've got a little bit of tea dyed check paper there. I think I'm going to move that higher up. I'll have that there. Now that wants something behind it. That wants something big and nice and chunky. So let's have a look, see what we've got in here. Let's grab some of my bigger tags from back. Do you know, I made that and I like it so much I've never used it on anything and it's about three years old. No, <laughs> it's still not going to get used. I've got some very basic ones here where I've just put a tab on top of a Tim Holtz journal card and inked it. I mean, that that may be all that needs. Oh, that one's not even finished, look. Yeah, we may decorate it with something, we may not. I don't think a botanical one's... What we need here i don't know i don't know it might add a pop of color to that page no no change my mind i want that further on i'm just going to pop that one in it's big enough it's plain right plenty of space here now for journaling i'm running out of space already all right we've got that i'm not going to put anything i'm going to put something on here i think i think this might need a pocket we may have to make a pocket Oh, we've got some little bits like this. That's a cute little pocket to pop somewhere, but I don't think it's going to be on there. What else we got? I've already used one of those. I've used? Oh, I've not used one of those. That. That could make an interesting pocket. Right, that one is designed to go that way. What happens inside? It's empty. I could turn that into a pocket that flips down if I just pop a little I could pop a velcro dot in the middle couldn't I hmm I don't know I could even do that no I'm going to keep it like that yeah I'm going to pop a velcro dot on that and then I'm going to turn that into a pocket so grab your velcro dots missus where are you dotties Here you are. Right. I like these thin ones because they don't add a lot of bulk. But you, you do you? Who says that? Tim Holtz. Right, so I've got my fairy one off. I'm going to put my fairy one here. I think I'm just going to pop one in the middle. Because it can just be a, a fold down journaling spot then. You can put a little bit of hidden journaling. Yeah, that's that. And then I'll glue that in as a pocket and pop something behind as well. I like that. Right, two ticks. I just want to find my Barely Arts glue. Ecky Thump, I found it. And then I had a mini craft lunch turning the camera back on. I had all this really nicely organised in this tub and now it's just... In fact, no, it, it looks as good as it did. It weren't that nicely organised. It was just stuck in it. 
little bits and bobs I might want to pop in journal. Ow, now I've stabbed myself with a pin. Mm, it's one of them days. <laughs> oh, it really, I'm bleeding. <laughs> oh, my word. Let's get a baby wipe. Even bleeding ain't going to stop me making this video. I, I promise not to bleed profusely. Right, I'm going to stick that on with Bailey Arts glue before any more disasters happen. So while this stops, I'll tell you something that happened today. I had a package from Royal Mail. Oh, I'm calling it a package. No, I had packaging from Royal Mail wrapped in a plastic bag and it said on it, we are very sorry about the condition of your package. And I'm like, mm, what, invisible? Yeah, it was just packaging. It should have been £40 worth of books from uh, Waterstones in the UK lovely bookshop uh one was for my daughter and one was what we'd bought for a friend's birthday so it was two of the same book and yeah nowhere to be seen just an empty box but i have to say waterstone's customer service is second to none they were absolutely fabulous and we'll be sending some more books yeah so cheers royal mail all right it's a good job waterstone's were so nice as well because the delivery person decided to take a photo and he didn't actually get a photo of the parcel he got a photo of my daughter's feet so that really doesn't prove anything that does it other than i don't know i'm not even going to go there with what that proves mm, people knocking on your door taking photos of your feet enough said right i'm going to pop that on it's going to be hard to get straight because i've done some winky wonky stitching here but if it looks straight, it is straight. I'm just going to lift that up. That's straight enough. Yeah, that's straight enough. I like that. I'm just going to unvelcro that so I can press those sides down a bit easier. So, yeah, that's a cute little flip down journal spot now. I didn't intend that when I made this piece of ephemera. That's just what I thought of when I put it in my journal like that now that needs a cute little tag to go behind i've got this this is little nelly olsen i know she belongs in another project so i remember going on about her when i put her in it yeah she looks like nelly olsen doesn't she from uh, little house on prairie so you can go there for now nelly we might replace you with something else so you may just be auditioning this may not be your final role little nelly right so i like that let's move on We've got that, that's yummy. Oh, that's cute. That was just a little, just a piece of, yeah, digital, di digital ephemera. So I thought, oh, let's just pop that in. Got that. I think I want to put something on the back of that page. Yeah, I like things in places where you wouldn't really expect them. So let's put this one out of the way that I dropped on the floor. Don't move. And let's find something. I'm liking this. Yeah, and this is quite an old one. It was just vellum sewn onto an envelope. But ideally you can put the flap over and then it will flip out. But I'm thinking I may just glue the flap down and let it flip out. Because I don't want to cover that yummy plant. So yeah, I could do that. I could even, if I glue it there, there and there, we could have a teeny tiny tuck spot, could we? What do we don't need it, do we? Just glue your flap down, woman. In fact, I could even cut some off. Yeah, I'm going to cut some off. So we've just got a tiny little bit of flap. Right, chopper. Here we go. Yeah, things fell to the floor. <laughs> just ignore it. Right, yeah, I'm just going to cut some of this envelope flap off. So I've got just a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to grab my rounder, corner rounder. And I'm just going to use the small one to round that. I didn't want, oh, it has rounded it. Just a teeny bit. I think I'm better with scissors. Because that's not straight, it won't quite get in and do it properly. So grab your, they'll do. My unfancy X-cut scissors. These are the ones I bought when I lost my Tim Holtz scissors. They do. They're not quite as good, but they're pretty good. 
and they were only about six pound they make fabulous spares but i have to keep cleaning handles they look really dirty when i've been using ink these white rubber handles that looks better yeah yeah i'm just gonna glue that on there and then we can tuck something in back and get your barely arts for this woman Right, I'm going to take that page out because I'm going to do this and I'm going to put it just short of that crease and actually we're folding it other way so it doesn't matter I'm going to put it right up to crease yeah that'll be fine yeah that looks good I like that. Yep. And then we're going to pop something in that pocket. I'm just wondering if I could pop that there. I could. I could. It might look nice stamped. I do have a couple of stamps out here from a little project I was doing. So I'm just going to use these. I'm going to grab some archival ink in black I think these are from the Sam Pool Creative Expressions dates from the past set they are, I don't think I've ever used them on camera yet I just want to put something up there it might not stamp properly because there's all sorts under it but it has actually, that's shocked me and that one says no as in number which way around does it go? That's it. <laughs> oh, well, we don't want to put on. Well, we can put on if we want. It's a uh, fancy cursive. I don't know what angle it's supposed to go at, to be honest. That. Put you there. Oh, that's a lot fainter. Not a problem. Where's my other bit I was going to stick on? I've done that a bit low down. Ooh. I still want to put that on though. Tell you what, I'm going to stamp that again. Get the right way up. There we go. No, no. It just makes that look a little bit less boring, doesn't it? And I'm going to glue this on two sides. There we go. So it's covered that first no up just about anyway. We don't know it's there. Boom, boom. Don't know. <laughs> don't even. I'm, st I'm still reeling over my invisible package. <laughs> I just can't. It just sounds so... It was like sarcasm, really. We're sorry about the condition of your package. It's invisible. Well, it's not. We've got you've got packaging, just nothing in it. Oh, I like that. I do like that. And pop something in there. I will have just a little plain card, I reckon. So I'm going to grab this little box of scraps. Ooh, could that be perfect? I weren't even planning that, but look at that perfection. There we go. Don't even need anything on there, I like the paper. And then we've got some little bits and bobs tucked in it, a little label. And then you can tuck anything else in that you want to behind. Right, let's grab something. What we got? Oh, I've got another one of those labels to put over a page. Oh, what's that? It's just a little bit of paper. How cute is that just to do a bit of journaling on? Yeah. Oh, and I think that needs a bit of a red sticking out. Yeah, lots of stuff in there then for your journaling. So flip that back up and we'll pop that. Did it go before that one? Yes, that went over it and then that. Yeah, I like that. So that's that. Then we've got the centre page. Then our insert goes in. So I'm just going to close this up now to see how chunky it's getting 
gets a little bit chunkier. We'll have a flip. We've got that there. Nothing behind it yet. That, that. Got something in there. A little bit of something there. Yeah, I'm liking it. And that seems a long way without anything. But then we've got Nelly Olsen. I love Nelly Olsen. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as that. I don't want to cover these Yumi pages up. <clears throat> Plenty of things you could do. I might clip something on here. Ooh, look at that. I'm sorry, Nelly, you've been outed for a butterfly. There you go. Sorry. Well, pop, you'll end up in something, don't panic. I think Nelly Olsen might be on my desk and in my ephemera pot for a long time. We've got that. And we've got the little flip there, I like. Then we've got this little interactive piece. I can leave that alone. I think I want some, I'm going to put a little bit of something on there because when you look at it from this side, it's very white, even though I've inked the edges. So put a lid on that ink before you have a disaster. We've already had a craft lunch. We don't want any inktasticness. Is that even a word? I don't know. Ooh, look at that. That's cute. Might end up on it somewhere. Right, grab your little bits of ephemera. I've got the smaller bits towards the front. We've used one of those pockets already. Um, mm, oh, I like that, but it's too big. Oh, that's slightly different to other pocket, even though it's similar. Different but similar. I like that. And I like that. So... I think it's maybe going to be one of these. I think that one looks better than that for some reason. I don't know. Or does that look better? Because we've got the black moth and then we've got that black. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, there's just a few little tickets I've popped in that I've cut out or made. That's a vintage bus ticket. Yeah, we'll glue you on two sides, then we can pop something else behind something else can hide so we'll glue you on the bottom and up the right hand side there we go just slightly in from edge perfect I think it needs something on there this one the other one didn't, but this one seems to. I've got a little... Here we go, we've got the Tracy Fox. I do love that last set of little tickets she did. I forget the title of it, but I'll pop it in the description. Batch. Yeah. I think we want that one. Batch. It's seem to have a lot of the type that I go for. I just like this. I like this shape. I like the ones with the one or two words on rather than the lots of writing. I do use them, but I don't use those as often as this kind. So, yeah, this one's perfect for me. I think I want you down that side, actually. Batch. Are we straight? We're straight enough. Yeah. That'll do. Right. Yeah, I like you. And you can go up top because then we'll bulk out the top a little bit. Yeah, they do you do tend to have a lot more bulk at the bottom with the pockets all being at bottom. And what we got next? Oh, we've got pockets here. So we can put plenty in here. When I say plenty, I don't want to put anything too thick and chompy. I'm gonna grab another handful, see what we got. Ooh, that's a layered pocket. We used those in the acetate pockets, but that doesn't mean I can't put another one. I'm just breaking it up. Because some oh, I'm not breaking it. I'm breaking up the fibres a little bit in the paper, and the glue sometimes can go a bit stiff. But if you just manipulate it a little bit, there you go, it's good as well good as no we don't want it good as new because it's not meant to look new is it good as as new <laughs> and yeah do you know when i make things and i say i'll just think the back's off camera doesn't always happen so there you go that one got done 
Oh, I think I want that in there. Oh, I like the look of that. Yeah. <clears throat> then I need something smaller in front so I'm not covering all that up, I think. I feel I want to use another one of these. I know I've already used one, but I really do like these. Oh, no, it's covering too much. Oh, you want something shorter than that woman? Something shorter. What's this? Oh, I like that. That's like got its own little pocket, hasn't it? But it doesn't have to be in its own little pocket. They're not joined at hip, are they? That's, I like that. And then I want something on here. Right, I have got some ready-made little clusters. And I did. I started crafting along with Melina. We had last M scrap busters last week. And I made these. I will link Melina's video. I didn't actually film it. I just made a few. I weren't in the mood for filming, but I like them. They're a little number, number clusters, I think she called them. And they're very cute. So that can go on there. I'm not putting too much bulky stuff right next to the spine because it can cause problems with things opening and closing. Yeah, I like that. That's another page I'm happy with. I love this handmade paper. This, I'm not going to call it vintage, but it probably is because I've had it since, I've had it since well before I had my kids and they're 16 now. Well before. And we've got some straw paper. I think that's an Artie Mays um, image I printed on it, but it prints lovely with these black and white images. I will have my shop open soon selling some more. Just every time I'm about to open him, open it, something happens like Royal Mail deliver empty packages. I think <sighs> there's no wonder people get angry when Royal Mail are delivering your pack packaging with nothing in it. Right, I'm going to shove about that now because I've really got to be in my bonnet. <laughs> right, this page. Did I put anything on that page? Yeah, I did. I always like to put a page in, this is some, I think it's called laid paper, it's quite thick. I would say, I don't know, I'd say it's perhaps about 140 GSM. I think that is 90 pounds, 110 GSM, so yeah, it's going to be a bit heavier than 90 pound, I think. I may have got that completely wrong, but hey-ho. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing now, I think, I'm guessing. Yeah, so I want to put something nice on here. I want a pocket. And I think I want to make... I liked that pocket I made with eyelets in, so I'm going to make one. And that, ta-da, is looking like the prime candidate. It's not <laughs> going to have its little uh, thing in that it should have in, its little tag, because I've used it elsewhere. But I can put something else in that now. I think I want to ink it a little bit more. Right, and I'm going to have to unglue one at sides, but that shouldn't be a problem. And I'm going to put some eyelets in. Right, grab your crocodile woman. But let's see if I can get the side unglued before I start putting eyelets in it. Because I made the other one before gluing it. Go on, you can do this. Well, that one folded. I don't know if that will fold. Do you know? Is it glued? No, it's just really good glue. It's really good glue. What's that? Yeah, that's it. It's come unglued. I'm just going to peel that off. Yeah. So don't worry about things falling off with just a fine bead of art glitter because that's what happens. I'm just going to ink that little bit there. Right. I'm going to punch the holes all the way through and I'm gonna I'm still gonna get three in here I think. So I'll put one in the middle, a little bit lower than middle, a little bit nearer edge. One there and one there. They're nearly spread they're nearly spread out even. And I'm going to grab three eyelets. I'm going to use my bronze ones because now I bought some new ones. I just can't stop using them. I had a comment from someone who said they're very into using hardware in the journals at the minute. I just love that hardware. It made me think of hammers and nails. <laughs> I know that's not hardware, is it? Or is it? 
I don't know, they're tools, aren't they? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I know nothing. I am Jon Snow. Can I get that in? Yeah. There you go. So things can always be altered a little bit after. We thought that were glued and it's not. <laughs> right. So now all I'm going to do is re-glue that little bit. I'll use art glitter because I want it to glue instantaneously just about. If you remember to put your pin in, this doesn't happen. I think most of you know that. Eee. I'm going to squeeze that out because I don't want glue going between my eyelets. Yeah, I really like that. I had to put the eyelets on the outside on the other one. But oh, that side was just glued far too far in. Right. I think I'm going to need to put a bit of glue between eyelets to get that glue in and round. So we have lost a little bit of pocket, but I think it's worth it. It looks good. I'm going to give that time to set before I glue it to page. And while we're doing that, I'll find something to go in it. So I've been wanting to use another one of them, but that's still not the right place. What else we got? Let me grab some more stuff. Right, we've got Grumpy Granny. That's cute. Oh, she's cute, but not for this project. I like that. The, a lot of these are just pockets, aren't they? Ooh, these. These were just uh, regular... I think, I don't... Well, these digitals are printed. I don't even know where I got these from. No, I think these came in an ephemera pack. The one I got from Amazon. Again, I'll link it. It was something like a 60-piece ephemera pack or whatever it was about. It was about five, six pounds. It had a lot of vintage and Tim Holtz style things in. I think, oh, I hope that will fit. If I only glue that on two sides, that will fit. Yeah. I think that's the plan. That is definitely a plan. That one's a bit narrower, but I still don't think it's going to fit because I've lost the space putting those eyelets in. And I like this one. Eee. Yeah, I like that. So, I just keep grabbing random stuff out of this box, don't I? There's all sorts in it. Look at that. That's so cute. That really is cute, that. Oh, I might just pop that at the top of a page somewhere. So, oh, that's a very narrow one of those. That could fit nicely in there. Mm, I don't know. I just keep wanting to put these in, don't I? Right. That seems to have uh, stuck down now, so I'm going to glue the pocket in. I'm just going to go across the bottom and up the right hand side. And I'm, I'm not going to put it... There we go. No, no one says pockets have to be right at the bottom of the page, do they? You can put them where you want, woman. Put them where you want. And that needs something on. I think I'm going to grab, look at this box, lots of little ready-made clusters. Ooh, that's just too many eyelets that, no, you can't have that on. Can you see these? Oh, I like that. That's a bit, it's a bit thick though. It's got card on it. I think that's a little bit too thick to be putting right in the middle of the journal. Oh, that's good one eyelet we can have one silver and three gold eyelets because i've said we can yep that's gonna go on there i'm gonna glue the sides Ooh, what's happened with to that come on yeah don't empty on me i'm gonna glue the sides and the bottom then again you can tuck something in it Happy with that. So, desk's turning into utter chaos, isn't it? So I'm just going to take two minutes to straighten everything up and I'll be back with you. And I'm back. It's a bit tidier. It might not look like it. You know, all these bits I'd pulled out of here and said, oh, we could use this, oh, we could use that. Well, they were just all over my desk. So now they're all contained. 
Right, I'd said I might use that in there, didn't I? But I did find this under pile and I just, I think I like that better. So I don't know where you're going to go, mate, but I think I like that. Oh, we could put them both in, I suppose. Could we? We could, but I don't know if I'm going <laughs> to. I'll never, I'll never kill myself making my mind up, me. Right, I've got this. It is a pocket with a little library card in. And I'm thinking I might like, I do, I just like the look of that there. So if I put that in, it would be way too much, wouldn't it? So that is that page done, I like it. Right, we've still not used the, I we're going to use the butterfly corner page, wouldn't I? And I've not used it. I suppose I could put it on the other side of this and then that could go in it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's very pink. I think that were a piece of a tatty teddy paper that I were never going to use again that I collaged over. So, yeah, even though you might not be using junk a lot in your junk journals, it's a good way to get rid of all those papers you never, you know you're never going to use again. I was never going to make another baby-themed Tatty Treddy. Tatty Treddy? Who's Tatty Treddy? Tatty Teddy. Mini album. So that were a good use of that paper. Right. Watch you up a bit. And we'll pop you on there. Again, not quite in bottom, but near enough. I'll just hold that for a few seconds. I'm just going to pop. I'm going to pop the cover in. There you go. Just something flat. And I'm just going to undo the Velcro. Is it? Isn't it moving a smidgen? There we go. I'm happy with that. It wasn't quite straight enough for my liking. What's that now? Pop that down and I won't take that up again until after that page is completely dry. And you, matey. Yeah, I think that looks better in that pocket. So we've got that on that side of that page and that on the other. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that now. Then we'll get this, 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 this. We've got a smidgen wonky there, haven't we? And that. So, oh, we need something to put in there. What happened to that other one? Oh, I know what I want to print there. A notebook. I've got one here that's ready made. I don't know if it's going to fit though. It might be in danger of ripping paper. Oh, actually, no. That holds on to that pretty good. So, yeah, that's just a little matchbook style notebook. Again, I made in a past video. I think this is the last one of them, so I may need to make more of these. Yeah. That's that. So then we have this, this, and I'm not sure if I can actually fit anything else in it other than a top tuck. We need a top tuck in this. We're going to have our centre spread near the top in this one. I think just to balance it out. Yeah. And I think we can just do one last top tuck on this page. Now I've got some... Oh, got this. I was going to put that on that other page. See, I forgot what I was doing, but it don't matter. I think that looks just as good there, don't you? In fact, it might look that that might be a better place for it. Happy accidents. Don't have to go in the same place as it did on the last one. Yeah, I like that. So this has got a little pocket there and we'll have a tuck there. And we're just going to glue it on the top and down that side. I'm going to use, oh, let's use Barely Arts for a change. Yeah, if you've heard me, I'm not moaning about Barely Arts. I just, in the UK, I don't see a need to use Barely Arts rather than Art Glitter. Someone did, me, yeah, the properties it has don't really apply to us. I don't think, Art Glitter has all the same properties. Art Glitter glue, that is. Right, I'm going to take that back cover off. So that I can position this. There we go. Again, I've not got right up to edge, but near as dang it. So I've got a rounded corner there. 
so I can't put it exactly on the edge. Move that dangle. We don't want that dangling in glue, do we, missus? No, we don't. So, this is this journal just about done. I may look at it after I've bound it and think, yeah, I want to put a few more bits and bobs in, but I can do that. There's nothing stopping me. There's no rules. If anyone tells you there is rules, just, just ignore them. <laughs> right, that's slightly wonky. I'm just going to touch it over a bit. That's it. Yeah, because I don't want it sticking out there at the bottom. Right. Put that back in. Now let's grab the cover and see whether it actually fits. You see now why I didn't, if you watch the others, why I didn't put lots of pockets on the inside back page because I said the journal will be too chunky. I've put 20 pages, 20 pieces of paper in, which has made a journal with 80 pages. Maybe I should have gone less, but I like these. Uh, I like to do it on these single signature journals. Oh, just look how chompy that looks. I really like that. Yeah, so when that's sewn in, that's going to look really good. We'll have a couple of little side tabs. And then we have... Where have they gone? Where did you put them? Which tub are they in, missus? We have the magnetic page tabs that are going to go in. That one belongs in other journal. I'd lost it and it were magnetised to these. Magnetised to the wrong set. Again, that were a whole video on its own. Right. Oh, that's a cute little notebook. <laughs> yeah, by the way. So we've got these five tabs to put in. I think I'll sew the signature in first before I do that. Yeah. So that is how I fill a junk journal with my ready-made ephemera. Yeah. I think once you find people talk about finding your style in junk journaling. And I never really understood what that meant. In fact, sometimes I don't know. But what I tend to find now is that when I make loads of ephemera, more of it will go together to make a journal. So I must have found a style. I couldn't even tell you what it is, though. I really don't know. So my next job is going to be to sew in the signature. So if you don't want to see me sewing the signature, you can, you can go now. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Now, if you want to see me sewing a signature, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> right, one. Oh, I should have said this before I sent the other lot off. Don't tell them I'm doing stuff without them. I decided I wanted to strengthen this centre booklet. If I just bring the other journal back in that I've already sewn together. Yeah, I've just put a little bit of fabric tape at the top and at the bottom. So I'm thinking... Shall I sew this in as a five hole pamphlet stitch or a three? And I thought, hmm, three might really not be good enough for this because it's quite a chunky journal. And I'm going to use the five. But then I thought that thread there is going to wear away at the edge of that piece of paper over time and it's going to rip. So I thought, yeah, put a bit of fabric tape on. So we're going to do exactly the same thing on this. I'm just going to pop a little bit of fabric tape on. I don't have the same pack out that I used on here for the flap but that doesn't matter. I can use a different one and I'm going to use this one. So grab your scissors woman. Big scissors. Where are they? You've had them so they should be on your desk but they're not appearing to be. They're buried. Here we go. Found them. So yeah I'm going to be using a 5 old pamphlet stitch to sew this in. So, yeah, and <laughs> I answered a comment to someone and I forgot your name already. I know you live in the UK. <laughs> I remember that much. And this lady had said she was making a journal for a friend's 80th birthday. I hope friend's not watching. I might get game away there. And yeah, it were a bit of a palaver sewing signature in. And I, and I said to her, I says, I sewed a signature in yesterday for the first time in months. And that was a palaver too. And I'm going to do this one on camera. So you might find out what occurs if it all goes wrong. Yeah. Sometimes it goes wrong. There's always a way to... I, I don't want to say go wrong because 
it's not going wrong. There's always a way to put some, put to do something about it. Uh, I'm going to put that sideways. I'm not too bothered about it being straight or writing being right way around. But I'm going to pull it tight because I don't want any bagginess. No bagginess on the edges. Nobody likes a baggy edge. Well, I don't think so anyway. I do like the backing on this tape. I can get it off with my fingernails. I don't have to start uh, messing with knives and stuff like that. Because I'm not good with knives. Whee. Turn that over and I'm just going to pull that again. Let's eliminate the bagginess. I mean, it's not straight. It's quite stretchy, this tape. It's like that sports tape kind of stuff. But it's printed on. It's pretty. Right. There we go. So now, when that's sewn into journal and the twine goes over the edge, it's less likely to rip. And I think, rather than spoiling this, it's added something to it. Just having those little bits and bobs. Right. Grab your stuff. I'm going to sew it in with black thread. This is, a, I think this is 1.5 millimetre. It's going to be in my description. And all the stuff I use, if it's available on Amazon, is in my Amazon shop. Yeah. The only things you'll see in my Amazon storefront are things I've used. I even take out things I don't like anymore, unless people want, still want to buy them. Right, so this is 1.5. And I think the minimum you can get away with for binding a journal is two and a half times the height of your spine. So I like to measure out three because I'm a belt and braces kind of woman. I like to be safe. Look at that. Put your magnetic page tabs well out your way while you're messing with scissors. Or they will keep sticking to it. And then you may have problems. So I've cut that off. I'll grab a... Grab my needle. Now I am going to use my uh, binding cradle, punching cradle, whatever it's called, because I've got one and I like using it for chompy journals. So here it is. I've had mine a lot of years and I don't even think the company is still going anymore, but I, there's plenty of people make these. Two junk journals I can think of if they're doing them at the moment. Artie Mays does some on her site. And is it Crafty Cat? I think they're doing 3D printed ones. Or you can just use a big chompy book such as a telephone directory. I believe in the USA you still have telephone directories, don't you? We don't in UK. I haven't seen one for donkey's years. Right, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. If the camera will let me, it's not going to let me. Tell you what, let's lift it up a bit. Let's lift it up a bit. Oops a daisy, I am ever so sorry, but I didn't zoom in. I stopped the camera, so I have not filmed the sewing in. I am so gutted because I cracked some really good jokes during that. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I can't even remember what they are. I can't crack them again. Yeah. These just don't sound sound same, do they? Second time round anyway. So, Yeah. That, that's it, it's done, it's sewn in. What I will do is I will link to a video where I did do a five-fold pamphlet stitch so you'll know exactly what to do. And yeah, I can't say anything other than I'm gutted with that. What a womble. Oh, I'll show you this tag. I've put a different tag. That, you know, that one I showed you, what I said I'm never going to use. I've decided to pop it out front of this journal. It goes so nice, doesn't it? Everything goes with the fastener the colours well it's Tim Holtz of course it goes so yeah that's going to go on that one so I hope that makes up for it a little bit <laughs> well it'll make up for it for the person who gets this journal I do know where these are going uh, they're going to two very special ladies I don't think they know who they are yet because I've not told them but yes these do have homes I've had a few people ask about uh, the possibility of buying them I will be making more they just won't be exactly the same I'm afraid so I've decided to make a few journals off camera. Yeah, just to get get my mojo flowing a bit more. <clears throat> and yeah, so that's it for today. I will link that video in the description. I will also pin it in the top of the comments so you can get straight to that video and sew in 
your signature and you're not left hanging in the wind. Apart from mine, there are other people who have done five old pamphlet stitch videos as well anyway. So I really hope you've enjoyed these. I've really enjoyed making them. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a journal on camera. And yeah, you just got to sort of see most of it, didn't you? So thank you everyone who's followed along. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.